What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we're going to be focusing on Baiku Hundreds of Melodies. This is the latest visual novel published by Radalak Games. This one was developed by Magenta Factory. It released on July 9th, 2021. It's $9.99, and it's an easy 40-minute completion or platinum trophy. Now, first thing we want to do is go into the settings as with most of these visual novels, you can, you know, go into the options and turn up the fast forwarding speed, things like that. So you can basically skip through all of the text and just cut straight to the dialogue choices, or at least you have to wait, you know, for it to fast forward and such. So we're going to go ahead and go to the options. After that, you want to check unseen text, check after choices. And then finally, we want to max out the text speed as well as the auto forward speed. Change them both to fast all the way to the right. After that, we're going to start up a game. Now, ultimately, most of the time that we're going to spend in the next 38 minutes is going to be simply watching the game fast forward through itself. Basically, we need to get two different endings. We need to get the Lee Jiayun ending as well as the Yang Kin ending. And to unlock all of the achievements, we do have to experience every single scene. Alright, so once you start up the game, you're going to unlock our first achievement. It's called a notebook worth 60 gamer score. That one's going to be unlocked automatically once you start up the game. If you haven't already, press RB or if you're playing on PlayStation, R1 to start fast forwarding. If at any time the game stops fast forwarding it through itself, you can go ahead and press RB or PlayStation R1 once again to keep fast forwarding or skipping. Now what we're going to do is we're strategically going to save our game in two different spots in effort to not have to play through a full two playthroughs because that would extend the completion time quite a bit. So we're going to save ourselves a little bit of time with some saves. I'll let you guys know when to save. Your next achievement is going to be the Unexpected Encounter achievement worth 60 gamer score. This is going to be another one that's going to unlock automatically just by, you know, simply fast forwarding through the game using the RB button. So just continue to let it skip. Now, one thing I want to point out is that I'm not going to be voicing over this full video. There's really no point in talking through, you know, all of these fast forwarding sessions. Um, mostly, I just want to give you guys an achievement breakdown to show you exactly what's going on. And then after that, I'll go ahead and chime in at the different dialogue choices to let you guys know what to do. So just continue to fast forward and I'll make sure to chime in for anything achievement related or if you need to save your game. All right, we have finally arrived at our first dialogue choice. We're going to choose the bottom option. It says, forget it. We are still unfamiliar with each other. Again, that's the bottom option.
All right, so for our second dialogue choice, we're gonna choose the top option. Go and help Hegea. All right, so assuming you press the two dialogue choices that I told you to, you should be unlocking the Virgin Maria's school achievement worth another 60 gamer score. All right, so we should be running up on our third dialogue choice, and this is where we're going to press start and we're going to make our first save. So go ahead and make your first save in save slot one. And then we're going to choose the second option. It's called Profuse Bloomed Gypsophila. I think that's how you say it. It's the yellow option. Again, the middle one. All right. So after you select that, just continue to fast forward.
Alright, assuming you have made all of the same dialogue choices, you should be unlocking another achievement right now. It's called A Wonderful Play with another 60 gamer score. And we should be unlocking another achievement called Sisters Trio worth another 60 gamer score. And we should be unlocking another achievement. This one's called Advancement, worth another 60 gamer score. Alright, so we should be running up on our next dialogue choice. You want to make sure to choose the bottom one. It says, what are you talking about? You're the closest Jai Yoon ever got for a sister, aren't you? And we should be unlocking another one right here, worth another 60 gamer score. Alright guys, and this is really important. Next, we want to save our game once again, but this time we're going to save it in slot 2. Alright, perfect. So those are the only saves that we need to have to get the full 1000G. 
Now you want to press the top option, tell Hagia. And then if you need to, press RB to continue skipping. And we should be unlocking another achievement, this one worth 60 gamer score, called Mysterious Land. This is going to be the achievement for that ending. So at this point, there's no more achievements left. I'm going to go ahead and continue to let it fast forward. It'll end up kicking you back to the main menu, in which we're going to start up our second playthrough. Now, it's really important that you actually finish the game and that you let it fast forward all the way through, as... It basically registers that we've completed the game before and it's going to trigger another achievement once we start our next game. So make sure it goes all the way to the end of the game, it kicks you back to the main menu and then make sure to press start. That's going to start up a new game and it's going to uh, give you some dialogue letting you know that it's already been a week since you found out about Jai Yoon's death. That's going to kick you into the prelude. And on top of all that, we do have an achievement or trophy related to experiencing or watching all of the scenes in the game. So that's why you need to make sure you're doing this step by step because if you miss any of these scenes, you're not going to end up unlocking the achievement at the end for experiencing all 102 scenes. Alright, so we're going to continue to let it fast forward and I'll chime back in when I have some more details for you guys.
All right, so for our first dialogue choice, we're going to choose the top option. Say hello, you've met before. All right, so we should be unlocking an achievement right here. It's called Fair Lady is Falling Down, worth another 60 gamer score. And next we're going to end up at the dialogue choice where you have to choose from the three different flowers. There's actually an achievement for choosing all three eventually, but for this playthrough we're going to choose the top one.
All right, so our next dialogue choice is going to be coming up right here, and we're going to choose the top option. Yeah, sometimes I think about that as well. All right, and so for our final dialogue choice, we're going to choose the top option, person you want to be close to. This is going to end up triggering our second ending, which is going to unlock the achievement or trophy for Sisters Quartlet. Now, it's not going to pop right away. We do need to wait for uh, the game to finish or this ending to finish. All right, so our achievement or trophy should finally be popping right now for our second ending. Again, that's the Sisters Quartlet achievement. Now, the next part is super important. The achievement that we're going to be unlocking next is called Accident, and you can only get this achievement by completing that ending and then starting a new game right after. So make sure after it kicks you back to the main menu, um, after watching all of the scenes, go ahead and start up a new game. Continue to skip and you're going to end up unlocking the accident achievement. At this point we only have a few achievements left and a few more scenes to watch before we get the collecting mania achievement for watching all 102 scenes. So what we're going to do is we're going to press start and we're going to quit out. I would go to the main menu and then load it up just because in that quick main menu um, or that quick pause menu it's real easy to uh, save over your last save I did that before and I had to start all the way over again so make sure you don't overwrite your old save thinking that you're loading it 
So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and load up our first save and we're going to mop up a few achievements. This time we're going to choose sweet smelling Osmanthus flowers. It's the very bottom option. That should unlock the floral trinity achievement worth another 60 gamer score for picking all three flowers. Make sure to fast forward just a little bit just so that we can make sure we've seen any scenes after that choice. After that, we're gonna go ahead and quit back to the main menu and we're going to load up our second save. So press load and then go to save slot two or save data two. This is the save slot that we created in chapter nine. Okay, so this time we're gonna select the bottom option, keep it a secret from Hajia. After that, press RB to continue skipping or fast forwarding. And we're just going to continue to fast forward. It's going to play the extra chapter, which is chapter 10. And press RB to continue fast forwarding once again. Now we should be unlocking another achievement worth 60 gamer score called Exploring China, a culinary adventure. And then aside from that, we're just going to continue to fast forward and finish this playthrough. After the playthrough is finished, we're going to unlock another achievement. That is going to be the new family achievement worth 60 gamer score. All right, so at this point guys, we just have, I think two more achievements left. Next is the Sponger achievement. To unlock this one, we must start up a new game directly after uh, completing the game uh, with the ending that we just got. So just start up a new game, continue to fast forward, and you'll end up unlocking the Sponger achievement before the regular game starts. That one is worth another 60 gamer score. Now at this point, all we need is the achievement for 102 scenes, which is going to be right here. Assuming you did everything correctly, you're going to get that final achievement worth 100 gamer score. That's the Collecting Mania achievement. I'm going to just double check. We got the full 1,000 out of full 1,000. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.